I've heard some people having some crashing issues with the Feed the Beast launcher, in particular issues with mod packs using Minecraft 1.6.4. In the majority of the problems I've read about, the launch will open as normal, it'll get to this screen, you choose your mod pack, and after you click launch, it'll load for a bit and then crash to the desktop. Sometimes problems can occur with the mod pack you've downloaded, and as a result, the game will crash when you try to start it. To fix this, open the launcher and go to options. Here you can click on the force update button. When you click it, it won't come up with a message or anything, the button will simply change colour. From there, click launch. This should force the launcher to re-download the entire mod pack. And once the mod pack finishes downloading, the game should start as normal. If that doesn't work, you might have a problem with Java and it is a little trickier to fix. First, you need to determine whether your Windows operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit. 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems will each use a slightly different version of Java. The installation process is pretty much the same, the main difference is the install file. If you already know which operating system version you have, great. If you don't, just go to My Computer, and on Windows 7 in the Windows Start menu, it'll simply appear as Computer. From there, click on System Properties. This screen will give you some basic information about your computer, and about halfway down the screen, next to where it says System Type, you'll see which version you have. In my case, I'm using a 64-bit operating system. Once you've figured out which operating system you have, it's now time to uninstall the old versions of Java. To do that, just go back into My Computer and click Uninstall or Change a Program. Alternatively, you can click on Programs and Features in the Control Panel. On this screen, you'll see a list of all the programs you have installed on your computer. It's in alphabetical order, so go down to J and look for Java. Now, ideally, you'll only want to have one installation of the most recent version of Java in this list, but sometimes older versions of Java will build up here and they can cause some problems. Right click on an entry that says Java and click uninstall. It should take you through the normal uninstall process. If you still have the Feed the Beast launcher open, it'll tell you to close it. I recommend uninstalling every single installation of Java just to be safe. Some people would say this is a bit of an overkill, but in my experience, I'd say this is the fastest and most effective method to get Feed the Beast working again. Once you've removed the old versions of Java, you're ready to install the new ones. Go to Google and type in Java download. Click on the result that says Download Free Java Software, making sure it's the link for the java.com website. It should take you to a page that looks like this. Click on Free Java Download. It'll download a Java install file, and double clicking on that file will start the installation process. Just watch out for the Ask Toolbar screen. Make sure you untick these boxes before clicking Next. From there, it should take you through the normal installation process and display a confirmation screen at the end that looks like this. If you have the 64-bit version of Windows, open up the Feed the Beast launcher and click on Options. It should have recognized that you're running the 32-bit version of Java right now, and it's recommending that you install the 64-bit version. If you have the 32-bit version of Windows, you won't see this prompt and you can disregard this step. Of course, if you do see this prompt, just go ahead and click the Download Java 64-bit button. It'll download the file to your default downloads directory. Double-click to install it, just like we did before, and while you install it, it'll take you through an almost identical installation process. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and try launching Feed the Beast with your selected mod pack. Hopefully that should then fix the problem. If it doesn't, I recommend checking out the Feed the Beast support desk. There's a lot of really good information on there, and I'll leave a link in the description. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, and have a great day!